Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty, where we talk about project planning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. Uh, I'm doing the update for Turn and Burn 7.0 Project Pan. This runs from January the 1st to December 31st of 2023. And it was created by Jessica Lee, and it is a Pantastic Ladies collab. <clears throat> I'm incredibly tired and sort of not feeling myself today, so I... <laughs> lack slight enthusiasm like I normally have. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about the items that I still have in and things that are, <clears throat> excuse me, rolling out. So for February, I had brought in <clears throat> the Laura Mercier caviar sticks and there's three of them in here. Um, Moonlight, Amethyst, and Tuxedo. And I've opened the top and the bottom one, but I have not used them for the last couple months and I really want to start using these again. I do have a lot of items, a lot of eyeshadow items in many, many projects. And so um, I don't know how I'm going to get to use these. I don't know when I'm going to get to use these. My goal is to complete it, obviously, because it's in turn and burn. But if I feel like it's just not a product for me, that's okay. So I, I, would, I would like to try and use them, but I'm just realizing that stick eyeshadows and things are just not really my jam right now but that's been in since february and it'll probably be until the end <clears throat> the next one is the jlo beauty that blockbuster wonder cream <clears throat> and this is almost done finally we're about just just a little bit more than halfway i would say we're about two-thirds of the way done and this is lovely it's really, really, really nice. I would consider repurchasing this, but it's just so expensive. But I really, I love the applicator, like not the applicator, but like the, the bottle, the, the dispensing of it. Like it's just a narrow nozzle. It, it's clean, like it doesn't get messy. It's like a nice metallic, sleek looking packaging. I do enjoy this a lot. The product itself is very, very good. But I just, I don't know. There's something about JLo doing beauty products that I'm just sort of like, you can't really, she's not really outside of the box. It's always one look wonder. And I just don't expect big things. You know what I mean? Like, yes, she's beautiful and everything. And I love the bronze look and everything, but I don't want the same look for 50 years. Do you know what I mean? Like I want, yeah. So I don't know what it is. I just have no connection with it, but I can, I will consider maybe purchasing the cream. <coughs> Excuse me. For um, April, I brought in the Murad. <clears throat> I don't understand what is going on with my sinuses, but the Murad Eye Lift Firming Treatment. Now that is still in my washroom or restroom, depending on wherever you're from. Um, I haven't brought it here because I'm still using it. And honestly, I forgot, <laughs> but it's basically eye patches and a like a tub, like a dispensing tub of cream and you put the dispensing product on the pads and you keep the pads on and then you pull them off. I don't know if you can wash those pads. That would be really great if you could and just buy, like rebuy the cream and then replace the pads when you need to. That would be fantastic. So I will consider that, but it it is a decent product, but it's not like blowing my mind will I remember how that felt after I was done using it probably not like it's not life altering and like I need to go run out and buy it the next one for May I have stuff in from all kinds of months <laughs> the next one was the Kerastase Blonde Absolute Overnight Recovery Serum Times 2 which are these two right here and I finally checked out how to use these and basically you just apply them to your hair the ends of your hair at night so that it keeps them hydrated and not so dry and like crusty. So I will be using those in the next month and get those out finally. And then we also have <clears throat> the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant, which is a powder product. So um, I basically have one use in this. So I'm going to use this maybe two, no, for sure one, because it says a teaspoon and in here there's pretty much like one teaspoon. So this is one use. So I will definitely use that um, probably this week and get that out. And then for June, we have the Lancome Advanced Jeune Fique which is for your eyes. And 
This one is completed. Don't remember if I liked it or not, but I'm sure it was fine. So that is an empty. Then we have the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. Now I have a huge stack of samples in front of me that I have to go through. So bear with me here while I locate the Ilia. Oh, of course it's the last one. Yeah, <laughs> it's the Ilia Concealer. True Skin Serum Concealer. This was very lovely. I used these three shades. So I put these two together and then I used this one on its own, which was still like a little bit light, but it was very lovely. This was really, really nice. I would consider getting this in the future, but it's just not, I'm, it's not necessary right now. I have tons of concealer, so I will just not think about that. <laughs> I, I don't need to buy any more. Next is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is right here. And I just completed this one today. So this one, I finished all these three, which are so great. They're really nice. I do like this. I have a full size in vanilla and it's really lovely, but of course it's just a little bit too light for my skin shade in the summer. So I only use it in the winter. And I don't wear a whole lot of concealer, to be honest. The next one is the ABH Magic Touch Concealer, which is still not used. I have um, two, two colors used, so 20 and 7. I mix those together. And so I'm going to have to probably combine 2, 5, and <clears throat> 21. And then I'll just use maybe 5 and 10 on their own, I guess. Uh, I don't know, maybe together. I could probably mix those two. So I'll try and use those this coming week because I really want to, I want to get these out as soon as possible. And I like that there's just a small amount that you could try. Um, <clears throat> I don't need a whole lot. When there's a lot, it just, then I don't get to my full size items. So that one is still in. And now we're into, I had no, I don't think I had a July update. So we're going to go through to August and what I selected. And I also brought extra things with me when I went to Vegas, sort of, sort of for like not having a July update. I brought a bunch of extra stuff with me, like extra samples with me so that I could use them on my trip. So I have a ton of things to talk about. So the first item in August that I selected was the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow with Sunscreen. And that is the CC Plus right here. I have completed these two. I used them together. So this is the shade medium and this shade was tan rich. These look beautiful together. I think, am I wearing this today? I think I might be even wearing this today. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to probably mix fair ivory with a little bit of deep bronze. I probably won't be able to get to use all of that, but, um, or I might even be able to mix the three of these together and just try to use it. So we'll see, but I want to try and use this whole thing if I can. And I'm still tan enough that I can get away with mixing this guy in with the other two. So I'll try and use that as well for next month. Um, then we have the Benefit Blush in Shelly, which I had two of those and both of those are completed. So we have those two rolling out. <coughs> The next one is the Benefit Blush in Moon, and I am decluttering that. I'm actually wearing it a little bit today, and I cannot stand it. I think it looks horrible and patchy, and just, it was not good. So this one will be going in the garbage. I'm not even going to pretend that it's an empty, just getting rid of it. <clears throat> um, then we have a bunch of these Drunk Elephant Rehab Debronzy and Marula Facial Oil things there's four of them now I brought them in because I mean the deep bronzy drops I love I use them constantly I haven't used any of the oils but the first one that I have here you can see I took the samples out of them so I'm currently using those the rest of them are still full and untouched so all of these will stay in until the next update 
Next is the Isle of Paradise Medium Self Tanning Drops, which are right here. And this is completed. I do enjoy these a lot. And I have been using Tanologist and Tan Lux. And I do not like Tan Lux. I do not like Tan Lux at all. I like Tanologist a lot. And I love Isle of Paradise. So that one is an MT. And will be going in my MT's drawer. <clears throat> then we have... Lancer Caviar Lime Acid Peel. Now, peels scare me because I do have very, very dry under eye patches under my skin here. And it says, um, apply a generous amount to clean dry skin, avoiding the eye area, lips and broken skin. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse. So I may just put this like on my forehead and like my lower part and just avoid this or maybe, maybe my nose too and just avoid my cheeks entirely because my cheeks... They're just so dry, so dry that it's very sensitive skin and I continually get bumps and like irritation if I use the slightest amount of harsh product. So I will try to use this. Part of me thinks I should just gift this to somebody else who can handle it, but I am going to try it because I would like to try stuff. So I will try it. I just don't know when I'm going to get to it and I hate having stuff in for a long time but hey I still have something in from February so it is what it is. The next item we have is the Capture to Total Cell Energy Super Potent Rich Cream and I have two of those. They are Dior. You can see Capture Total. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, um, Cell Energy Super Potent Rich Cream. So two of those. These are really nice. I enjoyed these a lot, actually. But um, if I remember correctly, they smell very old lady. Like, I don't know. I rem I just rem distinctly remember perfume from the 80s smelling like this. And holy moly, it's not for me, the scent. But it is. it was a nice product. It's just the scent is not for me. <clears throat> And the next is the Herbivore Pink Cloud Soft Moisture Cream. And that one is completed. I do really enjoy this a lot. But I won't repurchase right now. And then now we have all of the things that I brought to Vegas with me that I used and didn't use. So let's talk about... Actually, I think I used everything. So um, the Briogeo Farewell Frizz. That one is completed. I brought the Shiseido Eye Cream. That one is completed. I brought the Pharmacy Green Clean Sample. That is completed. I brought the Glow Recipe Plum Plum Hyaluronic Serum. This was really nice. I love the smell. That is completed. I brought the Neostrata Enlighten Brightening Eye Cream. This is really beautiful. I love this. <clears throat> We have the Teology Hydrating Serum. From what I can remember, I really enjoyed this. So just I don't need to buy stuff right now. <laughs> and then we have the Mad Hippie Triple Night Cream, which I also use. And it was all right, but it wasn't like anything to write home about. So that, I believe, is everything. Now, I don't have a whole lot left. And I didn't grab my drawer for picking out new things. But I do want to pick out new things. So I'm going to be chaotic as usual. And I'm just going to move a bunch of things all over. I know you guys uh, will not mind because you're used to this mess on my channel. I have stuff everywhere because I'm trying to create my Halloween costume this year. I'm not going to talk about it because it's not even in the start yet. <laughs> I have, I'm making my vision board so that I know what I'm trying to do when I get down to doing it. But... We're not there yet. So um, I haven't even started that, honestly. I, yeah. So I have this drawer here that has a bunch of samples in it. I have a ton more samples back here. But let's just go through this and pick out some stuff. So for eye cream, I have two already pulled. I don't want to pull another one. I'm already working on the Murad one in the bathroom. And I do have one in 50 shades, but I'm not, I don't like it. I really don't like it. And I think I may get rid of it, honestly, because I don't want to use things that I don't enjoy. I definitely want to bring this in. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup Foundation. And the reason I want to bring this in is because I am contemplating purchasing this. So I would like to try that. I would also like to try 
the KBD Good Apple Foundation. And sure, why not? Westman Atelier. This is foundation as well. Yep, yeah, stick foundation. I'm not a fan of stick foundation, so this probably won't be a purchase for me. But the samples are small enough that I can probably get through most of these with one use. So we'll bring in three foundation samples. I will also bring in Peach and Lily Skin Shield Blurring Primer. This is from my bestie Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock. Definitely want to try that. I will also bring in the Vichy Mineral 89 Booster. It's a, sorry, Skin Fortifying Daily Booster. I'll bring in that one. Um, this is so small. What shade is this? Nude 7. Oh, I'll bring in this. Nude Sticks Foundation. It is the shade Nude 7, which is right here, which is pretty good for my skin shade right now. So I'll bring that in, which lots of skincare or lots of foundation, I should say. Um, I'll bring a Sulwasu Renewing Cream. Um, a Wishful Thirst Trap Juice. It's a AH3 and Peptide Serum. That's really wow. <laughs> um, what else do I have here? Total, or sorry, Capture Total again. This is Dior in, Insensive Essence Lotion. I will bring that in. I will bring in the Tatcha the Water Cream. I'm bringing in a ton of stuff, you guys. I'm also going to bring in this Bobbi Brown Hydrating Water Fresh Cream. I hope I'm showing you those long enough. Um, I'm going to bring in this Youth to the People Polypeptide 121 Future Cream. It's a moisturizer, a gel moisturizer. And let's bring in something else. What do we got here? My goodness. What is this? Moisturizer. Okay, I'll bring in... Um, these Lancome, there's two Lancome Absolute Rich Creams, and I'll also bring in the Lancome Je ne Figure. This is the Youth Activating Eye and Lash Concentrate. TF is this. I'll figure that out <laughs> at some point. Um, I'm just going to go through and see what else. I'm bringing in a ton, like a ton of stuff. I need some concealers. So let's take a look for, I have a ton of tints and serums and lotions. What is this? I don't want to bring in masks. I have tons of masks and I'm just not there. Lots of moisturizers. I have no, I don't think I have any, I don't have any concealers in here. So I'm going to have to grab some from back there later. I'm not going to put it in this video, but I think I'm good with everything that I've selected here. Yeah, I have enough primer that I'm going through right now that I have minis, so I think I'll save primers for next time. But part of me wants to bring in this. I just think it's going to be too light for me right now. It's this, this shade right here from Guerlain. And I could combine it with the Nude Stick shade, but I want to try this on its own. So I'm like, do I bring it in right now? Yeah, it's in shade 1N, which is like right here. That is so too light. So I'll save that for the winter. It's, I just want to try it. I don't want it to go bad before I get to try it. So that would be a shame. And then I think that's everything I want to bring in for now. I have like a bunch of things like lashes and stuff, but I'm not going to bring any of that in. And I will replenish my stock because I am running low. Like it's good. Like there's still a lot of things in here, but I'm also bringing in a ton. Plus I'm going to go back there and grab some concealers. So I'll write all of this in. I'm happy with the amount of things I'm bringing in. I did want to mention, I was watching Jaylon's Turn and Burn, and I have to say, like, I am obsessed with her Turn and Burn video. She just brings in the most, and for somehow, she gets SHIT done. Like, she gets it done. So, I love watching her Turn and Burns, and she's very inspiring. Um, I definitely 
request that you go and check out her channel and check out her turn and burn. I am loving doing this. I'm actually working really hard and to consider getting out so many things that makes me really happy because my goal this year is to use as many minis, deluxe size samples and foil packets, all that kind of stuff, use as much as I can. And I think I'm doing really good. So if I can keep this up, there's only like four months or less left in the year. Oh my God. Um, yeah. I'm starting to, I'm starting to drift off in my thoughts. So I'm going to go, but yeah, I, I think I can get a good amount done. But anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. Please in the comments, if you haven't done so already, I would love to have a black heart for the upcoming October month. If you don't mind leaving a black heart in the comments or something spooky as an emoji and just hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already and yeah thank you guys so much for everything i appreciate every single one of you and every single one of your views and i will see you guys in the next video bye